Okay, so today we're going to be installing a flagpole, and first step is going to be installing the bracket. I'm just going to be putting it on this trim wood right here, and this is thick enough that I will not be needing any anchors. I'm going to go about right around there, and I'm just going to run the screws in and attach that to the wall. Okay, so it came with three wing nuts, one for each of these three spots. I'm just gonna put these in, enough that they're in, but not to the point that they'll be in the way of the pole. Okay, so I got the three wing nuts in. They're, none of them are sticking through, so none of them will be in the way of the pole. But essentially the pole's just gonna slip in and then you tighten these down on the pole to keep it from sliding out or blowing away in the wind. Okay, so the pole comes in pieces, so you gotta screw all the pieces together. They just slip together and then tighten down. Just like that. Okay, so to hang the flag, it's got a carabiner right here, and you're just gonna take the grommet on the flag and slip it through the carabiner like that. And then there's a second grommet right here on this adjustable one. So I'm just gonna loosen it up. Okay, and then this one goes onto that grommet, and then you're gonna just let it go tight. that and then you just tighten down with the flag so you can see you just tighten down that little finger nut right there and you can see now all we got to do is put it in the bracket so the flag can be installed in either a 45 degree or a flat out 90 degree it's up to you and how you have it mounted and how you want it to hang I think I'm gonna go with the 45 degree personally so I'm gonna put it right there and then tighten these two wing nuts down and it is all done. Okay, so this is with it sitting at the straight out 90 degree angle. You can see it hangs really nice. It supports the flag really good. It's nice and sturdy. I love it.